officer who headed that SIT uh, to be present here with all the police papers. Dr. Lord Sahib advised the senior superintendent of police also, who had also deeply uh, supervised the case. So, that's right. Can we have the police papers? Yes, please. Yes. Have you fled from where you have, uh, from where you have proceeded on the premise that nobody is to be found? Come in front. Not exactly, sir, but whatever attempts we have done to find out the culprit, sir, we have, have marked each one of them, sir. Could you get the names of those persons? Sir, no, sir. We examined almost uh, uh, 90 females, sir, whose stay had overlapped with that of the victim, sir. And we took all of their statements and got them recorded under 164. And in that, sir... Yes, sir that you have said. Sir. And therefore, you have charge sheeted only one person, the superintendent was overall in charge. Yes, sir. The one who had kept on emerging was that of Vandana Gupta, and hence that is why, sir. You don't have to take the name. Uh, sir, the uh, accused, sir. The superintendent. Even then. Sir, sorry, sir. So, um, so, on the basis of that only, sir, we uh, charge sheeted her because the victim statement, sir, that only found corroboration in statement of three other uh, residents of the Gaiga shelter. Why, why we have. Uh, you know, skeptical about the investigation having been conducted properly. We are not passing any comment. This is just the tentative opinion of the court. Don't get disheartened. Uh, both of you. Now, we find that it was a very, very big offence, gender-related offence, especially especially against hapless women who were lost in that uh, aftercare home or whatever. Mr. Advocate, just please take this. Now, the person who gave the interview, which actually kicked start all this uh, debate, uh, she is not the only person who is the victim, right? So there would be many others. Uh, how many of them have been interviewed by you, interrogated by you? What information did you call out? And uh, did you ask for any uh, Did you put the superintendent to a special interrogatories? But we don't get satisfied. The occurrence has taken place in the capital under the nose of the High Court, and up till up till now, you have been able to uh, point towards any finger towards only one. Uh, sir, if and I'm to tell you a fact, she being a lady, we find that she could only have been a facilitator. Sir. That's right. Sir. So she has facilitated whom? So, therefore, we find that uh, this investigation is absolutely lopsided. We don't know, we have not seen the papers. Sir. Um, you do one thing. Sir. You have submitted the charge sheet? Yes, sir. So, there are two FIRs and one charge sheet has been submitted. So, 17 20. Yes, sir. You give two copies. One, I mean, we can always have a copy. We can, we can give a copy. We will go through the, this. Uh, we find that there is something lacking in your effort. Um, it's yours, investigating agents. Sir, sir, if I may just uh, elucidate everything that we have done so far, sir. So we took the. Are you satisfied? Sir, with this kind of allegation, with this, with this large spectrum of the, of the, of the, uh, you know, victims, are you satisfied that only one person you could uh, lay your hands upon? We are not, we are not asking you to frame others who are not there. Sir, we are not asking you to do that. Sir. We are even not asking you to expand the scope of investigation, not at all. But if you as an investigator, as the head of the investigating team, age member team, if you are satisfied, that all this happened only because of the facilitator and nobody, and nobody could get uh, any access to the to the uh, home and could meet the girls, then we are, we, uh, then uh, I don't think we, we are on the same page. Sir, so far what we have done to uh, get to those culprits, sir, if at all something like this had happened. Mm -hmm. So we took the FSL team to examine the entire premises. Why am I why are cutting you short? Sir. Now these processes are known. Sir. You will take, uh, you will have FSL report, you will you will ask for, you will uh, take, uh, you will take a person, you will request for custodial remand and whatever. Sir. 
We know that process. We are only asking you about your satisfaction that this kind of an occurrence has taken place and this is not a new one. And you could not, uh, I mean, you don't have a clue who were part of it. I mean, just that. Sir, whatever, sir, whatever processes we had followed, we did everything, sir. In fact, sir, our sole basis of everything that has happened so far are the statements of those two victims, sir. Now, one of these victims, sir, gets released from aftercare home, sir, the, uh, the, the, the victim of FIR uh, 1322, sir. She gets uh, released from the aftercare home on 5 May 2021. And after one and a half years, sir, she alleges these complaints. And uh, the FIR of 1321 does not hint at any sexual exploitation. Okay, sir. And secondly, please don't proceed on those lines. Sir. I'll advise you, you don't proceed on those lines. Sir. The very tenor of your explanation says sir. that you're not believing the accusation. If that be so, then the no, charge no, is sir. bad. No, no, sir. No, no, sir. Absolutely not, sir. So okay. Therefore, don't, don't say that. Sir. If you find the accusation to be correct, what have you done to extend your arms to reach those culprits? Now, if you say that the statement is made after one year, that means you can, you can. Sir. There could be tutored statements. I don't say that it cannot be. Sir. But these are two different strands in the investigation. Sir. Should you find the accusation made by the women to be bad, to be, to be not acceptable, that's one stand. If you say this, that there was considerable time lag, when the matter was reported and when they, they were subjected to such misdemeanor. Sir. sir, actually sir, because of that the statements are vague sir. And even when, sir, not just that, we tried reaching out to girls of shelter home who were released from the shelter home at that point in time sir. And sir, from time to time, inspections had been carried out at the shelter home. And uh, uh, we have got a report of all those inspection notes also sir. Uh, satisfy us, we will have to go through. With the permission of the court sir? Yes. Very good option sir. Uh, sir, I have personally supervised this case from the very beginning, sir. All the supervision notes were issued by me, sir. Uh, the accusations that came, sir, upon the basis of that the affairs were registered, sir. Then, uh, in order to in enhance the scope of the investigation, and in order to check out whether this thing was taking place on large scale or not, sir, we had identified all the inmates of the aftercare home, sir. A total of 97 of them were identified, some of them whom used to live at the time when, Bodhi, when both the uh, victims, yes, yes. so yes. Uh, we specifically requested the Honorable District Judge Patna uh, to provide us with judicial magistrates, sir. He was kind enough. All the needy judicial magistrates were deputed, sir. They went to the aftercare home and in uh, environment of complete neutrality, in the absence of all the police officers or in the absence of the superintendent, and then all the 164 statements were uh, recorded, sir. Then all the corroborative evidence in the form of FSN, sir. Uh, so everything was done. So throughout the investigation, sir, we got only seven adversarial uh, 164 statements against the culprit, sir. Incriminating. Incriminating, sir. Out of that, only uh, five alleged uh, physical assault or the bad quality of the food, and only two of the inmates, one of them uh, alleged uh, sexual exploitation by of her along with three other girls by four unknown elderly people, sir. And one of them just gave a general statement. She was deaf and mute, sir. We arranged a translator. We uh, requested the subdivisional magistrate. Translator was arranged. And that statement was recorded in English, sir. So, uh, when the one of the, so we have only two adversarial statements, and that would be 164 statements citing sexual exploitation, sir. So, one of the uh, girl, the victim. Adversary is state, I'm, I'm just checking you here. Sir, Adversary sir. means the other side. The, yes. Uh, in, so in that is incriminating. Yes, incriminating, sir. So, uh, upon the basis of that statement, sir, uh, she alleged that she, along with three other inmates, she uh, used to be smuggled out of the aftercare home and yes. three to four uh, elderly was, people used to exploit. It was this statement of hers that yes. caught our attention as members of the yes, yes. committee. Yes, yes. Sir. Uh, but at the same time, sir, because we had taken the statement of all the possible inmates who were present at that point of time, sir, none of the other uh, inmate alleged and corroborated this statement, sir. Then again, sir, uh, we have recorded that in diary also in order to corroborate her allegations. The victim who had given the intimating uh, statement, we asked her about the identity of the people and if she had any clue about it. She was not able to come with any clue. At, in fact, one point of time, she even didn't want to corroborate her statement after recording the 164 statement, sir. So even CCTV footage, sir, uh, the forensic examination of the place, it was very And when was the CCTV 
Uh, we just took the see you could days. take possession of the i mean the sit yes. could take possession of it only after 7 8 days yes sir when the matter had flashed in the newspapers yes sir right the superintendent had not been removed yes sir she all was other functionaries were there sir so 7 days did you uh, is there any statement in your investigation paper that the cctv footage was intact inviolate it has not been tampered with It, that is only the uh, the standard language that we have in such 65 Indian Evidence Act. That That's it was with respect necessary. to the evidence which you collect. Yes, sir. And to be to be to be admissible, you need to follow sir. 65B. Yes, They sir. They are on a different issue altogether. Yes, sir. Right. So we have serious doubts. Sir. That if you base your information and investigation only on the CCTV footage. Sir. Perhaps you are you are you are being misled. Uh, so the matter of the fact is that, that because it was only seven days of CCTV footage, so the incidents which was alleged, we do not have CCTV footage of that. That's right. That's what I am saying. I will give. You can't. You can't. Because only seven days back is available. Look okay, here. You can't. Uh, you can't uh, parry the question of the bench. Sir. You have understood it. You are. You are. You have been an investigator. Sir, you are a police officer. Sir. You know about investigation better than the court. Yes. We can only find faults. But uh, don't parry this question. Mm -hmm. Now the first thing. an investigator does is he he takes control of the cctv sir and the, the second thing he does is to see whether whether it has been kept intact or it has been uh, tampered with sir and this is how the investigation proceeds in these kinds of cases sir otherwise what is the purpose of keeping uh, cctv sir i mean there is no surveillance then so you take it uh, you take control of it after 7 days sir not that you had swung into action without uh, the without the victims and without the perpetrators of the crime being in know of it it was all in newspapers so i think the first step of the sit would have had been the correct step to see whether whether the cctv footage is intact it has not been deleted it has not been tampered with is there a certificate this is not 65 b certificate yes, no you have not done you have not applied your mind to it You not apply to your mind. I mean, what we are. I mean, yes, I think sir. both of you are understanding what the question is going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, if you say that uh, now this statement is not coming from the victim and this is a delayed statement, so far so good. This these offences will keep on happening. I mean, uh, you are not. you are not only an investigator all of us are citizen part of the citizenry of this country i mean i get pained i don't know why why you are so stoic about it uh, uh besides sir we have completed the mobile forensics sir of all the available uh, data that was there sir the whole forensic team examined you the whole of the medical test yes. for all that sir now if something happened say 15 days ago sir the girl musters up the courage to speak after say 30 days sir and the matter has been taken cognizance of in the sense in the loose sense of the term that you have investigated the matter yes would you be only looking for medical evidence unless we have uh, done unless there is immediate i mean unless there is some uh, physical onslaught immediately preceding the report yes sir you not be looking for the medical evidence only uh, sir we have uh, uh, taken other scientific evidence on record also sir like the we had a 400 page forensic examination report of the with 1000 pages if it doesn't satisfy the conscience if it doesn't satisfy and the the reader what worth it is of and whole of the sir uh, the forensics mobile forensics how many people did you invest did you interrogate sir we interrogated all the uh, staff the how paramedical staff you was the number of heads numbers plus the sir, all the uh, security guards also sir security guards also sir 90 people were once it was taken was taken apart from that 40 plus uh, 20 plus the guards and all of them feigned ignorance they they said it's all right it's we, right. we didn't see anything Sir, that's exactly. The, sir, throughout investigation, we had only to do uh, 164 interrogation statements, sir. 164 statements. And we can't even tell you to. I mean, 
manufacture, nobody can tell you to manufacture evidence. Yes, but uh, they are not satisfied. We see the entire investigation papers. They are not satisfied. And you have been able to charge it only one. A female, a superintendent. So the one who could have been the first And who, who, how, did the, how did she facilitate? Sir, according to the statements of the victim, sir, it was said that she is the one who took share of the money of the wrongdoing. From whom? From the uh, uh, from the exploiters. Who are the? You so couldn't get the names. No, sir, we did not get names out of it. Sir. Who will accept this report as correct? I don't think the chief judicial magistrate of whatever ilk he is, he will accept this report. You may be satisfied. Who can be satisfied that you? You have found that the superintendent was facilitating the entry of, you know, uh, predators who masqueraded as relatives, and then the women were sedated and they were raped. Uh, so we took the help of counselors also, sir. Uh, the professional counselors. They were also uh, taken to the scene. So that not even one. Is, this is this is surprising. Not even sir. one. Well, if you are satisfied, we we'll look at the papers and we'll give you directions. But we are not satisfied at the moment. How could this be? How could this be? Then perhaps your accusation against the superintendent also is bad. So that we have mentioned in and the memo. And not these people the from sir. overseas sir. Were, were, were facilitated in entering the home. There must have been people from around. We exhausted the manual and technical input that we could at that point. We have uh, yeah. submitted well, we the complete We are not recording anything. Documents. We will not say that this report is very, very perfunctory, though it may run in 500 or 600 pages, but we are not satisfied. For the, we will record that only one person who has been found uh, worth trying is the superintendent who is a lady. Uh, her role is only that of a facilitator. Think of it. Just think of it and I mean, the response should come from you. Uh, sir, we had also examined the bank accounts, all the possible are transactions you, are you that could be. Are to go for a further investigation? Uh, in case some relevant facts come up, definitely, sir, under 173 and CRPC. You what relevant facts are from sir. your reports only. Sir, sir. You are not seeing it with a discerning eye. We might end this litigation by saying that this is the report, but we are not thoroughly dissatisfied. If that suits you, it's all right. But then we'll be we'll be falling short of our duty as judges. Sir, we are ready for any further investigation, sir. We have exhausted. On what lines, sir? Please, if you have if you have exhausted your reserves, sir. Yes, uh, it doesn't speak uh, very good of the policy, sir. You tell us where have you faltered, and uh, which in which direction should you proceed now? You tell us. Sir, just instead of us ensure. telling you, then we then we completely reject the uh, the veracity of your uh, proper policing and investigation, and we give you our own direction without monitoring the investigation. Uh. Unless you come up yourself, this I mean I am just repeating it all over again. Sir. Not the first time where where uh, shelter home inmates have been violated yes, physically. It's not the first time. And then the shelter home in question located at Patna. There were many interviews when the matter was reported. There was some time lag between uh, action and the report, yeah. and then you have been able to find one lady superintendent. Now, if you put all your facts within these four parameters, I think nobody, not even your own department, would say that you have done a good job. Sir, we have not got uh, the access to the 164 statement, CRP statements of both the uh, victims. Please In that case. Sir, Please but has, uh, not as investigators. Well, we are not, not as, allowed to. Not only as investigators, and precisely for this reason, you have been you have been nominated as the head. Sir. You have that sensitivity with you yes, sir. for your gender. Yes, sir. It's not done. Sir, in fact, sir, to just to ensure that the victims are not harassed or anything, so we were even ready to take the statement of the 161 statement of the victim wherever she felt comfortable. Sir, and that's, in that's, some, throughout that's sir, something which is given. Yes. Sir, can, can you do anything beyond that? Absolutely.
absolutely not sir and exactly that is why sir said the whole basis is the reason why this case is coming to place i have given you four corners put your work within that corner and assess yourself sir sir we are not going to say anything for the reason that we don't know whether you have uh, uh, made uh, good efforts we don't know if we make that statement that would be bad now you find out yourself where actually you have faulted and this is no way of policing this is no i'm sorry this is no way of investigation and policing in the first instance how did it happen you you have to be the show stopper i'm sorry you are not taking it to a logical conclusion we know our limitations we are not here to monitor your investigation the power to investigate is plenary with you with police all these uh, you know nuances of law we all know therefore mr advocate general is not even objecting to it Uh, but i am only asking a question repeatedly what gives you this satisfaction that you have done your work it's a one more submission sir the report of the now i'll Thank tell you, you what sir you go through the reports sir find out in what way you could make a headway sir and in case you require any further investigation come out with necessary reasons we will permit you we will direct because this is under article 226 and we are we are, we are taken so much on notice of it but it should come from you if we tell you really you would uh, you would uh, perhaps clamor that the investigation is being monitored no we are not monitoring the investigation with the permission we can do that courts we can do that but but we are not doing it for the moment sir so one last question sir yes sir in order to get more proof sir once we came across the 164 crpc statements what, what we did it? sir we, we did all the uh, we got all the costing reports sir because these it gets the regularly constant also that's sir if your intentions were to sir. investigate it properly and take it to a logical conclusion you would not have filed charge to stay away was she in jail no sir she was arrested sir she was arrested now my this is this this would require 60 days to file charge she wouldn't have been in jail for 60 days where was the hurry where was the hurry nobody would have questioned you about 16720 and we get an impression that you deliberately pulled the curtain down before time the scope of further investigation will always be there sir so we have so further investigation how will you do so you must know for for the for the sake of uh, you know following the precedent you would see for the permission from the chief both the cases have ended in final report yes, sir. Uh, one case is still pending sir. sir one case went of lack of evidence sir. she uh, did not uh, corroborate her uh, that's statement that's true no no sir, lack of evidence sir sachi kami sir she didn't corroborate her statement sir for how long have you investigated no we 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 sir we, i've been the eye of the case since uh, february sir that's right we uh, mr advocate general we are we are absolutely convinced if they say that uh, there is no evidence we can't uh, we can't put in we can't fill in the gaps but we will report that this is absolutely unsatisfactory and i will just give the four corners the dotted lines and let them let uh, any authority put these facts in between that square and say whether whether they have done a good job and i am unhappy <coughs> let them come out yeah. you you read the read the papers again apply your investigators mind don't be under any stress of any kind now a, a guilty is a, a, i mean uh, no amount of pressure should uh, deviate you from your duty whoever he is however high he may be you must ye to bekar ki kahani hai na ki kanun ke hath bahut lambe hain aur sab ke upar hai ye to kahani hai sir ye kahani hai if we can't remedy the wrongs if a person comes to the court what is the use of all these robes likewise what is the use of all your dress and all the paraphernalia and all the hierarchy that you are working in if you can't investigate a simple case for espionage ka to case hai nahi hai बहुत लोगों से तो पूछना तो है नहीं इसको नॉट से इन फैक्ट वाइल इंट्रैक्टिंग विथ देम 
Not let them, sir, ah. Mr. Advocate General, let them come on the next day and tell this court that they have again gone through the investigation because nothing more can be done. Then we shall apply our mind. Let you make a statement that this is all, nothing beyond. This was the end. <coughs> make that statement, then we, we find out where would you, how, how would you end. That's not done. Have you get hold of all the 164 statements? Question them again. In fact, Lords, uh, I think this is my because two of only two of the inmates made that in their statement under 164 uh, about the complicity of the superintendent. I think that is the solitary evidence that is against that woman. But it was required to be investigated. Anybody saying anything would not do. No. But then this, perhaps if that was a wrong statement, that was uh, that was a knee-jerk reaction of a woman this, who perhaps was not yeah, very well fed. On that, but I can understand that no. this, these two inmates were not given good good things to eat. They were unhappy. They were not allowed to go out by the superintendent. They might have that knee-jerk reaction against the superintendent. Well, she is she is bad. No. Now this happens. Milord, but then what, why did you yeah, accept that accusation? Yeah. What has happened, my lord, is just in fine. Lots of those two inmates met the complaints, complaints against the lady uh, with respect to the sex, facilitating the sexual harassment as well as with respect to the qualities of food and Now, at A.S. Pete, Lord said, those one among those two said that they all together three others inmates were on the they interrogated those three those three completely denied so far this bad food and this uh, lot that was found to be corroborative and therefore they have uh, recommended for action to but the department see the reports in the meantime you also go through the papers and find out department about that food quality and uh, something hanky panky between the contractor. Take it into account yeah. that this could have been uh, the reason for them to complain yeah. and exaggeration. But then, not this way. Yes, what do you have to say? They are more, further more than these. Even the guards are saying that uh, uh, visitors used to come because they were accused guests. They never used to make the interest. The, those are there in the case diary, the police report. That are well, uh, all the clues your Lordship is saying is almost is here but it has to be uh, the scope has to be widened uh, uh, we are giving you one week time please sit over the report tell us honestly that uh, you can't do any further we will close the chapter we will record our dissatisfaction we will close the chapter if that satisfies you if that satisfies you about your uh, I mean, uh, about your uh, responsibility as a police officer go ahead go ahead we will do what we can. Without uh, without putting you in any trouble, we will do what we can. We have to rise early today, so we close for today. Give us two copies of the entire police papers. Can you do that? Yes, yes. <coughs> Hand it over to the court master. We will because two of us will go through it. Let us do some work. Pursuant to the orders. Pursuant to the orders passed, pursuant to the order dated 21-11-2002, the Senior Superintendent of Police Patna and ASP Sachiwale, Sachiwale. Sachiwale. Name? and Ms. Kamya Mishra, ASP Sachiwale, who has headed the team of investigators in this case, are present with police papers. We don't write that we are dissatisfied today. No, right now. Right now we are not. Uh, police papers. We need to examine the police papers before accepting the end report that no clue could be found about anybody except the superintendent of the aftercare home who has been shown as a facilitator in the final analysis. This court has also asked 
this court has interacted with the police officers above named and has asked them to again examine the police papers in order to find some headway in the investigation so that so that so that the matter doesn't so that the matter is not given an indecent quietus we are at a loss to understand that one person a female who was this who was the superintendent of the aftercare home has been charged for the offenses for which the fr has been lost obviously come on obviously as a facilitator then where is the justification of not reaching the culprits who took the help of the facilitator we are not ready to accept the situation for this the 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 asp the asp the the head of the investigating team and the senior superintendent please shall be present on the next day with with their suggestions as to how with their with their with the road map to further investigation as to how to reach the culprits we notify of which date give us a, you can you can have a choice of dates it has to be a friday it has to be a thursday next to next week do some homework 30th what is it the moment two weeks two weeks two weeks there is what day 24 24 so we keep it on 8th of december pre notify on 8th of december at 3 pm all right thank you mr yes thank you we are ready to cover it people is spot this would be one of the paper spots out of the four in coming days uh, we have to be aware no, we will be we will be requesting the learned advocates not to use paper they have yes. they can have their own device yes. we will also what, be asking what, our court what staff about, what about us no <laughs> <laughs> who don't know even to come no, forward we, we, we will give you a technician you will be facilitated <laughs> there will be, there will be a computer placed there at this stage when <laughs> the boarding launch <laughs> सब लोग एक्सपोज़ लैपटॉप लेकर आ रहे हैं हां भाई सर बस बोल रहे हैं मिलेगा